InfoTube review of the Acer Aspire V3-772G-7872. Now, this is a Intel Core i7 4th generation with an NVIDIA GeForce GT750, 4 gigabytes of dedicated RAM there on the video card. It has a 17-inch Acer Con 5 view LCD screen, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 L memory, and a 1,000 gigabyte hard drive. This is the DVD model, not the Blu-ray model, and it also has the Acer 802.11a slash b slash g slash n plus bt 4.0 with a six cell battery now this thing is a good computer middle of the road graphics processor uh, intel core nvidia which i like over the radon i have two acers back to back here this is my other acer and i will list the model number in the description if you're interested in checking out my older model so, anyways, just unbox this thing. This thing straight out of the box. Fired up, had it running in about 15 minutes. Uh, here is the specs on it once again. And as I just went over, we have excellent specs for running video games and video processing. It is in full HD. I bought this computer specifically uh, for a 4G upgrade for my TV as my older 775. 0G slash 9411 Aspire was only displaying in 16 by 900, so I could not get it to display 4K. I'm moving into the next generation here. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the keyboard. I like the way it's inlaid here. I like the way the button is on this one. It's a little bit smaller. Um, over on the my other Aspire, the button was huge, and when I went to grab the laptop a lot, I close the lid I would accidentally turn off the laptop so I think this is a better layout I like the keyboard better as I mentioned on this device uh, they both have web cameras of course very similar computers one is running Windows 7 one is Windows 8 uh, I like the I actually like the outside of my older one better it's the matte and this one's more of a shiny black so you get a lot of fingerprints but that's okay it's just all preference so that is the top cover of both computers and I sort of like the look of this one though so that's a good thing so here's the system specs on this you can see what we've got here and then you can see we can run in full HD 1080p now you're gonna want to check out this web page and read up about the actual card that's why I put it in the description it is a 4k capability one and whereas my older one didn't have that capability and that's where the big upgrade came so uh, read that information the link will be there so boot up time on both these computers back to back and the new v3 just kicked my old computers but there's just no uh, <laughs> you lost the race dude yeah so it's still booting up as you can see my car I could be using the other computer right now and we're not even close so yeah very fast load up time very impressive I put a lot of the same things on both computers so they both have stuff on them so this is an empty hard drive here as you can see my older Acer 7750G is still booting up so that being said moving on we are gonna move on and show how this thing plays games so this is Far Cry and I'm going to show the video settings as you can see 1920 by 1080 and uh, I'll show you the quality here that we've got right out of the box just fired up video quality optimal so that is the top setting that you could have so you'd be running in the game in full settings it looks great and I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here one second here I had a cough I don't have any water by me oh well so here we go. Let's go back here. We're going to start in story mode. Let's go continue where I'm at. Alright, 
so loaded into the game here. Yeah, super fast. I've got the Xbox 360 controller, which uh, I'm coming for you with this Windows 8. Highly recommend if you're gonna do some video gaming. Uh, graphics look great. I mean, it is just amazing. 1080p, uh, no lag whatsoever. Very happy with this as a video gaming rig. All right, so next here, I'm gonna show you um, what I mainly bought this for was to hook it up to my 4K TV. So uh, just plug this into the TV real quick here, and you need to go ahead and make sure that you're showing it only on desktop 2, which is your TV if you're going to be doing this, because you want to get in the full uh, 4K. As you can see, my resolutions are in full 4K. So I am in 4K, just plugged in HDMI, that's it. And that's specifically why I bought this laptop, because my other laptop couldn't do this. So I, I will show you a little bit of YouTube 4K real quick, show you that you're able to stream YouTube in 4K. I've heard that you're able to uh, stream Netflix in 4K too. I haven't tried it yet, but I will let you know, updated. Here we go, we're gonna put it into 4K settings here. Whoops, missed it. <laughs> All right, here we go again, 4K. And we'll do full screen here. And yeah, the picture is beautiful, it is full 4K probably can't see it from through my video camera but it is amazing so that's specifically why I bought uh, the upgrade on the laptop I mean obviously I had almost the same laptop but this is a bit better and the graphics card is definitely a bit better you're gonna notice the four gigabytes is definitely a little bit better so moving on here um, I'm gonna show you a little gameplay from Far Cry 3 I'm gonna go into settings here and show that you are able to actually Scale your resolution all the way up to 4K. Uh, I'm not going to though. I'm going to run the game in um, uh, 1920 by 1080. That's the best it runs. And I really notice that much of a difference. So uh, it's in optimal settings, of course, the highest graphing settings you can have. And here we go. We're going to log in real quick. And, and this is the game. But it's not. It's not laggy or anything. It's perfect. It looks great. It's probably hard to tell from my crappy TV, but it is really awesome. I highly recommend this computer for gaming, for whatever you may need it for, uh, as far as video processing. It's a middle of the road. It's not the best gaming computer in the world, but for the money, and that's it's just, just saying Tiger just had it on sale for $8.99, you really can't beat it. Well, thanks for uh, watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. We'll get back to you and try to answer any questions. Uh, Anyways, this is InboTube. Peace out.